Welcome. Is this the very best water block and video card combo available? The Optimus Signature GPU water block claims to be the highest performance GPU block ever created, exclusively for the RTX 4090. And the ROG Strix 4090 is the best air-cooled card offered by ASUS. To see if this is the best GPU and water block combination, we will tear down the Strix 4090 and install the Optimus Signature 4090 block and then test them together right here, right now. This is the Vector Network and let's begin. But before that, Frozen CPU is the official sponsor of the Vector Network. Follow the links in the description to get the parts in this video from Frozen CPU with same day shipping, cash back for upgrades with the rewards program and at the lowest price guaranteed. Right underneath the instructions, we can find the Optimus Signature Strix 4090 water block. Immediately, the first thing that stands out is the black ceramic Cerakote finish on the mid plate. This is a look that is distinct from nickel plated or pure copper blocks. Looks aside, this water block was designed with upwards of 1000 watts of thermal headroom resulting in potentially unmatched thermals. Optimus uses advanced manufacturing throughout their GPU block, starting with the top plate made out of cast acrylic. Cast acrylic features optical clarity, scratch resistance, and thermal stability. Below the top is the black ceramic Cerakote mid plate, machined from a half inch of copper with deep recesses to better transfer heat from the memory and VRMs. Optimus uses a custom EPDM gasket for this block where it works like a traditional seal that prevents liquid from leaking to the outside, but it also isolates the inlet and outlet channels on the inside. This prevents liquid from bypassing the fins and maximizes the flow of liquid onto the cold plate. For the cold plate itself, Optimus claims that their design is generations beyond the competition. The nickel plated copper fins are only one tenth of a millimeter thick, further maximizing surface area and performance. Besides the instructions and the water block itself, what's in the box is the Optimus XL heatsink backplate. The satin black anodized aluminum backplate was designed to work as both a mounting system and as a full coverage heatsink. Its substantial thickness and machining allows for a higher thermal capacity and more surface area. To transfer the heat from the card to the backplate, Optimus uses a supersized 3 mm thick backside thermal pad, which is intended to be reused after disassembly. Underneath, we have the front side thermal pads that are not intended to be reused. These were designed to be only half a millimeter thick to help with the heat transfer. We have the Kingpin thermal paste with spatula and two Optimus G quarter inch plugs for two unused ports and the M 1.5 hex key to fully torque in the plugs and the mounting materials, a black 8mm hex key, and a silver T8 Torx key, and screws. The video card for this water block is next. The ROG Strix GeForce RTX 4090 is the best air-cooled card from ASUS. Above this model, ASUS offers the Matrix Platinum, which is a binned RTX 4090 liquid-cooled card in a closed loop, but at a price that is about double a 4090. Back to the Strix and taking it out of the box, we have a cooling solution that includes an aluminum backplate and a multi-fin stacked heat sink with a vapor chamber. The Strix has a factory set boost clock that is 60 megahertz or approximately 2% lower than the Matrix. We will replace the air cooler on this Strix 4090 with the Optimus Signature water block. This combines a card comparable to that of the Matrix with a water block claimed by Optimus to be the world's highest performance GPU block ever created. Then we'll put it in our test bench and see how well it performs. For the I.O., the Strix has three DisplayPort 1.4a ports and two HDMI 2.1a ports. The main cooler shroud is metal and uses three Axial Tech 105mm fans. The red and blue accents are only visible from this angle, otherwise the card is predominantly matte black. Also, the card is unlocked with an additional 20% power for a maximum of 540 watts. On the end, there are two fan headers that run at the same speed as the GPU fans. Besides the card itself, what's in the box is a thank you card, 
a quick start guide, a power cable guide, a promotion card, graphics card holder guide, a warranty card, and a trading card. Underneath, we have a graphics card holder. This helps prevent GPU sag, doubles as a screwdriver, and the bottom is magnetic. A 12 volt high power cable adapter. This car can be run with just three of the four A pin cables connected. And a Velcro strap. The teardown is next. The teardown begins with removing the metal back plate. First, we'll remove 10 Phillips head screws two of which are spring-loaded. Then we can take off the back plate. There are eight screws on the I.O. bracket, five screws securing the bracket to the PCB remain, and we'll remove the three Phillips head screws securing the bracket to the cooler shroud. Then we'll remove the four Phillips head spring-loaded screws around the processor. and also the bracket. And then we can lift the PCB up and flip it over. We have two black fan headers and a white RGB header with clips to remove from the PCB. And the card is now separated from the cooler. The front side memory thermal pads are one millimeter thick. All the front side thermal pads are one millimeter thick, including the VRM. The back plate thermal pads are half a millimeter thick. The ASUS ROG Strix RTX 4090 OC is powered by NVIDIA's AD102 graphics processor. For comparison, the next most powerful Strix is the RTX 4080 Super, and that uses the AD103 chip, sizing in at 379mm squared, compared to the 609mm squared size of the AD102 graphics processor for the RTX 4090. No way around it, that is a 60% larger processor, allowing for 67% more transistors. The GDDR6X memory chips are made by Micron and are 2GB per chip and 12 chips for 24GB total. In addition, this card has a 24-phase VRM design and a 4-phase memory VRM design. The Strix 4090 shares the same PCB layout as the top-tier Matrix Platinum, allowing for the best possible power delivery for the GPU. Thermal pad oil is expected to appear and insulate the PCB. Let's start by placing the PCB on the back plate and securing it with three hex screws. All the screws thread into metal rather than threading into acrylic or acetone, which can more easily strip or crack. The front side thermal pads are used to cool the VRMs and memory and for installation can be placed first directly onto the PCB as in the instructions or directly on the water block first. Then apply king pin thermal paste and using the spatula so only a thin layer remains. After the peel, we can place the back plate with the mounted PCB directly on top of the water block. Secure very tightly four torque screws for the top and four torque screws for the bottom and secure the screw nearest the IO port more lightly as instructed. So there it is. Potentially the best liquid cooled NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 available. Can Optimus live up to his claims? The fill and leak test are coming up followed by the testing. Let's go ahead and plug up the two unused ports on the back using the hex key to fully torque in the Optimus plugs. On the front, we'll add a pair of EK Quantum Torque 90 degree adapters and a pair of Coolance Quick Disconnect QD3 fittings. For the leak test, we have a water cool heat killer 200 tube reservoir, a D5 pump, an aqua computer next flow sensor, an EPDM 16x10 tubing with an Iceman cooler glass filter. Connect a pair of Coolant's female QD3 fittings. Let's start by filling the loop with distilled water. 
Visually, the water saturates the block in black. Only the Optimus logo, separated by the gasket, remains the original color of the block. Using Mayhem's X1 blue coolant, the saturation is blue tinted and the blue is brighter around the nickel plated copper cold plate. The fill and leak tests are complete, so the testing is next. For comparison, we have first tested the ROG Strix RTX 4090 using its stock air cooler. The test bench is a 6-core CPU with an air cooler on AM5 with a 1000 watt power supply. The default performance BIOS was used and to obtain the results, 3 d Mark Speedway stress test was run on our open air test bench with ambient room temperature at 21 degrees Celsius. As stock, the GPU core and memory temperatures were 62 and 79 degrees Celsius, respectively. Undervolting the GPU resulted in marginal decreases in temps and FPS and a significant decrease in power consumption. Overclocking increased temps, power, and FPS in the low single digit percentages across the board. Next, for the custom loop, we're using an Alpha Cool full copper 360 millimeter radiator with three Noctua fans. With the Optimus signature water block, the Strix RTX 4090's core and memory temperatures were 42 and 55 degrees Celsius, respectively. A decrease of 20 and 24 degrees Celsius from the ASUS air cooler. For visual reference, here is the pace contact. So how does the Optimus block stack up against the other 4090 water blocks? Blocks from Alpha Cool, Biz Power, and Water Cool have been tested on this channel and their core temperatures all averaged either 48 or 49 degrees Celsius. The water blocks kept the GPUs much cooler in general and each block's performance was comparable to each other. Enter Optimus. Using substantially the same test rig and benchmark, Optimus achieved a significant 6 degrees Celsius reduction for the core temperature. Keep in mind, the other blocks were tested on the 4090 Founders Edition model without the same factory overclock as the Strix, meaning potentially an even bigger difference on a matching card. So, the Optimus signature block is better at cooling but can it rival the ASUS Matrix Platinum as the ultimate 4090? This Strix was able to sustain an overclock of 260 MHz to the core, an increase of 60 MHz over the air cooler. This rivals the additional 60 MHz factory boost clock of the Matrix 4090 over the Strix 4090. The memory was overclocked by 1400 MHz, which is an additional 500 MHz over the air cooler. During the stress test, the car was able to average a boost clock of nearly 3000 MHz, just shy at 2975 MHz. This resulted in FPS of 107 in Speedway, a 7% increase over stock. Testing of the Matrix by Tech Power Up and Guru 3D have found a max boost of between 3000 and 3100 MHz. So that would be approximately a 1 to 4% clock speed advantage over this Optimus Strix, achieved perhaps by the binning of the Matrix, giving it a slight performance edge. So there we have it. The Optimus Signature GPU block is unique in appearance and its performance stands out from the competition. Paired with the ROG Strix RTX 4090 OC, the combination offers potentially the best performance and cooling on the market. While the Matrix uses a bin chip for maximum overclocking, the Optimus Signature Strix 4090 gives builders the freedom and performance of a custom loop for unmatched cooling. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Thank you and I'll see you at the next episode.